Welcome to this week in Longmont for December 18th, 2020. I am your host, Craig Stevens. City holiday schedules. Longmont City Government observes the Christmas holiday on Friday, December 25th. All city facilities will be closed. On Thursday, December 24th, Centennial Pool will close at 2 p.m. The Longmont Recreation Center and St. Vrain Memorial Building will close at 3 p.m. And the Longmont Ice Pavilion will close at 3.45 p.m. Waste services will be collected on your regular collection day this week. The Waste Diversion Center will be closed December 23rd through 27th, but the single stream recycling bins will still be available. For more information, visit longmontcolorado.gov forward slash waste services. Free COVID-19 testing at the fairgrounds. Free COVID-19 testing is available at the Boulder County Fairgrounds located at 9595 Nelson Road from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. seven days a week. You do not have to have symptoms to be tested and registration is encouraged to speed your test results. Visit boco.org forward slash COVID-19 testing for testing options and registration. Enjoy a visit to the Longmont Museum. The Longmont Museum has reopened at reduced occupancy. Guests can explore the vibrant work of Colorado artist Tony Ortega in the entire Day of the Dead exhibition. Front Range Rising, the museum's permanent exhibit, documenting 14,000 years of human history in the St. Vrain Valley, also is open. Find hours and details at longmontmuseum.org or call 303-651-8374. New Dismount Zone on Main Street. On January 1st, a new bicycle dismount ordinance takes effect for the sidewalks along Main Street in downtown Longmont. Bicyclists, as well as those on scooters or skateboards, must walk the wheels on sidewalks between 2nd and Longs Peak Avenues. Bicycles can be parked on the many Main Street bike racks for convenience and visibility. Bicyclists are encouraged to ride their bikes in the alleys, breezeways, avenues, and adjacent low traffic streets. For more information, visit bit.ly forward slash bicycling rules. Simple, sustainable holidays. Have holiday candy and cookies left you with sticky fingers? Use a cloth napkin or rag to clean up instead of a paper towel or wipe. They're less expensive and don't end up in the landfill. Find more simple sustainability tips at bit.ly forward slash sustainability dash Longmont. Gift certificates equal easy gift giving. Recreation gift certificates provide a simple way to purchase a gift of wellness and fun. Certificates can be purchased in any amount and can be redeemed for classes, activity registration, and passes. Call 303-651-8404 to purchase with a credit card. Give the gift of golf. The popular Golf Longmont Players cards are on sale now at City of Longmont Golf Courses and online at golflongmont.com. At Twin Peaks and Ute Creek, purchase a $140 card, a $216 value that includes two 18 hole rounds and cart at each course. At Sunset, Purchase a $75, a $130 value that includes five nine-hole rounds with cart. Players' cards can be redeemed for play as soon as the physical cart is in hand, picked up or received in mail, and expires December 31st, 2021. Gift certificates for green fees, carts, and range use are also available for all three courses. Visit golflongmont.com forward slash shop or call the course for more information. Recycle your holiday. The city offers several opportunities from December 26th through January 6th for residents to recycle holiday materials. Christmas trees can be dropped off at Roosevelt, Garden Acres, Kenamoto, and Centennial Parks. Please remove all decorations and lights. Special bins will be set up at the Waste Diversion Center located at 140 Martin Street for wrapping paper and holiday lights. Christmas trees are also accepted. Cooking oil and white, white styrofoam block number six are accepted at the Waste Diversion Center year-round. 
For more information, visit bit.ly forward slash recycle the holidays or call 303 651 8416. Longmont selected for recycling education campaign. The city of Longmont was one of three front range cities selected to participate in a six month recycling education campaign in collaboration with the Recycle Colorado and funded by a grant provided by the Coca-Cola Foundation. The campaign, which officially began in August 2020, intends to increase recycling collection within the city and throughout the state. This has been This Week in Longmont for December 18th, 2020. I am your host, Craig Stevens. Thank you for watching.